Hello ladies, it's Lex, and I have the second half of the speed build for the uh, mirror townhouse here. So this one is going to be pretty much all of the furnishing, uh, as well as maybe changing a little bit of wall coloring. The flooring, I'm pretty sure I just leave how it is, uh, and then I am going to be doing the design and landscaping in the back here. So if you hear some jingling, Jazargo, my one kitty cat, just decided to jump up on my lap because I'm pretty sure that he wants me to feed him. But it's not time for you to get fed, so you go complain somewhere else. Go way <laughs> yeah so the upstairs is where all of our bedrooms are and we also have uh two full baths upstairs here i definitely uh did this house furnishing wise um with like a, a family in mind uh and then like i said since it is this townhouse this like mirrored townhouse uh they are a, basically exactly the same on either side uh interior wise but if you had two separate families in here and like you know they had two teenagers in one family you know you can very easily just change how the rooms are set up here but uh the first one is set up i would say pretty gender neutrally as a kid's bedroom it does have uh, a little bit of pink in there if you're somebody that doesn't like to have pink in your rooms uh, and then I have the toddler room set up mostly blue I guess it could be a nursery as well I did put a crib in there just because like eh, then you don't have to buy one uh, the last bedroom is gonna be the master bedroom that has its own private bath that is also a full bath uh, since I did like I said make this with a more family kind of play style um, in mind that's why uh the other bathroom the more like a family kid bathroom has the tub and shower uh normally i just really put showers in my houses i'm not a big fan of baths myself so i tend not to put bathtubs in my room my houses that often um but uh if you have toddlers in your household you have to bathe them in a bathtub which i find kind of annoying i don't know why you can't just shove them in the shower and turn it on uh but yeah so you have to do them with a bath so that's why that is how it is um the hallways here i just put a bunch of little random thingies in there little cabinets and little junk on top and then i end up putting a mirror above each one i uh, yeah a mirror above each one and a light yeah there's not i didn't really i couldn't really think of anything super fantastical to put up in this hallway here so it's just kind of like random junk but you definitely have room to put in like a keyboard if you wanted to or uh i'm trying to think uh, you could put some musical, like a guitar in there if you wanted to. You could put some other kids' toys in there if you wanted to. Or you could just take all that out and leave it empty as a space for the kids' projects uh, with the parenthood. If you have parenthood, hopefully you have parenthood. If you don't, there's a lot of stuff in this house from parenthood. So if you download it, you're going to be missing that. Uh, I could definitely go back in and redo this house and make it all base game if that was anything that anyone was uh, super interested in. Just let me know and I can go in and do that for you. But my favorite part of this house is probably the kitchen and dining area big surprise you guys know how much I love kitchens so we just have a very basic kitchen it does have a dishwasher and an island sink which I am very very fond of I had a little bit of trouble deciding what I wanted to do with the cabinets here because I really wanted to use the like long like the tall cabinet but it just looked kind of weird so I ended up taking it out and then we do have our island seating as well as an actual dining table as well I did kind of do a lot of blue on this lower level here just because I ended up using uh, that parenthood wallpaper that has the uh, paneling on the bottom that was the blue paneling that I went with because that was the most plain upper color don't worry about it it's not a big deal but so this is gonna be the dining half here and I went with a uh, six-person table but there is room to put chairs on either end as well so you could to seat eight if you'd like and then two at the counter so uh, even for like a townhouse like these are like pretty big houses i don't know like they're they're pretty large like that the if you would just have this as just like one half it's larger than i make my starters so uh it's pretty good size i put the computer and i put a bookshelf in the kitchen slash dining area just because that was the best place i felt for it uh since our living room is a little bit smaller than i thought it was i did put art easels on uh both houses uh kind of underneath the stairs but i did not play test them that is one thing i didn't play test this house so there might be a couple of things that don't want to work uh furniture and that kind of stuff should be totally fine but 
The art easel is definitely one that might not want to work the way that it should uh, just because it is underneath the stairs. I have done that in other builds before and it was not a problem so that's why I didn't feel like I needed to play test this uh, but if there's anything that's gonna not work the way that it should it's gonna be that art easel. Through another little love seat in the kitchen, kitchen, love seat in the kitchen, another love seat in the living room here. I really like the new couch from Parenthood. I think they're super cute and then I just wanted to do a little bit of clutter, a little bit of art in this house. I didn't go through and do the like insane amount of clutter that I usually do in my room builds just because it would have taken me ages to do this build and I didn't really feel like messing with it for four hours. So the uh, structure build took me about a half an hour and the furnishing also took me about half an hour. So it was only about an hour total to do this build. Uh, I've had a few people tell me that I'm a fast builder and I think that that has a lot to do with the fact that I don't try to overthink things. I just do it and I don't mess around with stuff for 10 minutes just to get it the way that I, it's exactly the way that I want it because I don't know if the person that's downloading this is going to keep it the way that it is. Is, but uh, yeah the only thing that we really have left to do here is the backyard and then like I said before it has a kid side and a more adult side kid side has a bunch of fun stuff there is the slip and slide the big jungle gym the monkey bars and then the more adult side has a basketball court and an outdoor gym and then I also put three chess tables out there so lots of stuff to do in this house lots of stuff to do family wise hopefully you guys enjoyed this speed build I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day thank you so much for watching as always please feel free to leave me suggestions in the comments down below for any other builds you'd like to see if you have have any questions about building or if you have any specific builds that you would like to see let me know what you are looking for down in the comments as well and you can leave me your sims 4 gallery id if you would like me to tag you in the room so it's easier for you to find it but have a fantastic rest of your day guys and i will see everybody in the next video